That's 164 riders reporting for duty today. Representing 24 teams in total. And the leading squad uh, overall, at least the leading rider, is Lee Lampard. So naturally enough, you've got the Sudal Quickstep squad on the front of the peloton pursuing a breakaway group which established itself uh, very early in the day. I can tell you, and unsurprisingly, it has multiple Swiss representation. We've got a total of five riders clear of the field. Here's the points here. They we're quite close to this sprint, so are they just going to roll through and not take it? I have to say, I'm slightly amazed. So he's all in for the uh, for the climbing competition, and that means that Gonzalez has taken the uh, top points there. First of three climbs today, all at third category level. Max at 12.3, but there's a long extended section of this uh, relatively short climb. It's just under three kilometers, you can see. There's about a kilometer of it at 8%. And then he has dragged himself up. Can he get up there in time to just about pinch it? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> but you'd never know. So now Jacobs has uh, knit that one back together again. There's con uh, uh, confirmation. Gonzalez gets the three ahead of Yeni and Jacobs. To say the least, this is really, really tough and demanding racing as we approach the 20 to kilometers to go point. And it is boiling up nicely, down to 20 odd seconds advantage. Jacobs is coming back at a rate of knots. That's the kind of injection of pace that a former European time trial champion can produce. Last man standing, drag back in. It's uh, Grupo Compato for now at least. Uh, this one is going to split. Is it going to split on this climb? Or will it climb uh, split on the Albish Pass, which comes immediately after it? And then we've got that final one kilometer ramp to the finish line. Not going to be a contest for the points here. Control, control, control. It's been intense, but it hasn't cost too many of the big names their positions at the front. Now, time for a bit of an attack, a bit of a softener-upper. Is this uh, Rivera going for glory just to try and stretch the legs a little bit for something to happen? You felt that it was, uh, the phony war went on a little bit longer than might have been expected here. Let's see what sort of a reaction there's going to be as uh, Visma Lisa bike and, naturally enough, UA Team Emirates want to ensure that they're all present and correct. And uh, Paris Ponter is just trying to latch onto this one for the Decathlon AG Duola Mondial squad. We're going to see any further shenanigans, and actually, and uh, almost inevitably, it is the Decathlon AG Tour man, Valentin Paré-Pontre, that has decided to take his leave of the rest. Now the team's going to play it. It's Adam Yates, goes to the front. Tullet third in line, Carapaz uh, there as well, and you've got uh, Stevie Williams. Also in the top four riders across the top of the final classified climb of the day. Into the final couple of kilometers, he's got a bit of an advantage. The Swiss national champion, Mark Hirschi, is gunning for glory. And the baying pack behind, almost within touching distance. As we approach the kite, 1,000 meters of pain and suffering ahead of these riders. 161 kilometers in total. And this is going to be a really, really sensational finale as the... Uh, Help us into coining squad. Try to tr set something up. It's at over 8% here. It's going to be absolutely hugely intense and demanding and challenging and difficult. Can they possibly survive through these final 500 meters? Carapaz waiting to go as well and looking as if he's uh, nicely set up and waiting for his moment to shine. 300 meters remaining of the day and this is where it's at its most difficult and the group is still huge. Still a large number of riders involved as we wait for uh, Thibaut Nace also trying to put himself into prime position. Approaching the line, 300 meters remaining and Visma Lisa bike in with a shout of glory here today. Who's going to be able to get it on the day? Well, Marco Frigo has uh, command at the front of the peloton, but it's Thibaut Nace waiting to fire. Here comes Thibaut Nace for glory. Carabas trying to get on him as well. Thibaut Nace of the uh, uh, Little Trek squad, the pre-event favourites and pre-stage favourites going to get this one, I think. Or are we going to have a late run to the line? But it's Thibaut Nace that gets the glory at the death. 
on stage three of the Tour de Suisse. And Thibaut Nace has managed to get up to convert the favorite status awarded him by the reigning champion and his teammate, Matthias Schelmus, at the outset of the day. And what about that?